It's been another thrilling day of whitewater racing. Shallow waters and rocky rapids challenging competitors. From Northern to Bayswater, hundreds followed the 124 kilometre stretch as the Avon descent marks 50 years. Picking up pace along the Avon River, twisting and turning, bumping and scraping. Power boats and paddlers chasing the river rush. Three holes. One, two, three. And it's the roughest repair, but all that matters in the Avon is getting to the finish line. More than 400 competitors enduring a mammoth 72 kilometre stretch today, exhausted bodies and tired arms tackling the rapids. A few tumbles and overturned boats, the lower than usual water levels testing competitors. <laughs> Families lining the banks. Absolutely astonished how good they are coming through these rapids. Some of them make it look so easy. The weather has turned it on for day two of the Avon descent. Hundreds of spectators gathering here at Bells Rapids to watch the action, celebrating 50 years of this iconic event. I've got my friend Francesca from Italy, so I thought I'd show her what we do here and something that we've got going on in WA. One last push to the finish, giving at their all. Noah Boldy and Jesse Phillips, the first to cross the line as a team of two. Ben Carrick, the fastest solo paddler. People were calling out down the valley how far I was behind, so it wasn't until the last 15k that I actually put some inroads in, so yeah, I'm very surprised and extremely happy. Michael Prosser and Justin Green taking out the title for the quickest power dinghy. Charlie Elliott proving you're never too old, picking up the paddle at age 83. It would be a great pleasure to give you this, my good friend. Yeah, yeah thanks very Congratulations much. Congratulations and well done. Festivities keeping families entertained, marking an incredible 50 years of river race magic. Sarah Smith, Nine News.